Uh, number two, a person who ridicules either Allah or his messenger. So making fun of Allah Azza wa Jal, or of his messenger or of anything related to the Quran or to the Sunnah or to the religion. Anything that indicates mockery, making fun, humiliating, ridiculing, all of these are immediately acts of kufr. Allah says in the Quran, should you question them, they will say, we have only been indulging in idle talk and jesting. Say to them, was it then at Allah, his revelations and his messenger that you have been mocking? Make no excuse. You have disbelieved after you have professed to be believers. Though we may pardon some of you, we shall punish others on account of their being guilty. قل أب الله وآياته ورسوله كنتم تستهزئون لا تعتذروا قد كفرتم بعد إيمانكم إن نعف عن طائفة من نعذب طائفة بأنهم كانوا مجرمين سورة التوبة Chapter 9 The surah that deals with the hypocrites that expose them to the public by describing them like that The origin of this and why it was revealed that on the battle of Tabuk it was a long journey it was summertime so three were sitting after Isha and they were chit-chatting so one of them said to the other and they're all chit-chatting in a group we have never seen anyone like the companions of the Prophet ﷺ. Quote, unquote, those known as to be the reciters of the Quran. They memorize the Quran. We've never seen like them. They have big bellies and they lie a lot and they are cowards when it comes to fighting. Now, this is outrageous. Throughout time, Muslim communities had a segment of people who would find joy in ridiculing practicing Muslims. And some claim that we are self-criticizing. I think in the West, America, Europe, they have TV dramas that are supposed to be comic or uh, a comedian where they talk about Islam from the point of view of Muslims as if, as if they are Muslims and they make fun of hijab, they make fun of our rituals, our beliefs, everything. And unfortunately, some Muslims may watch it and laugh, thinking that this is fun, not knowing that they're falling under this category of verses of the Quran, verse 65 and 66 in Surah at tawbah in la kunna nakhudu wa So as these people were making fun of the companions, as if they are just chit-chatting 
And by the way, even here in my country, the land of Islam, we find people making fun of us. So they say things that are irresponsible just to make people laugh, not knowing that this angers Allah and may take them out of the fold of Islam. So again, they were making fun of the companions that they have big bellies, meaning that they love food and that they lie. Whatever comes out of their mouth is cheap talk and that they are cowards when it's fighting time. They run away at war and all of these are lies. One of the companions heard them, but he was young. So he swore by Allah to tell the Prophet ﷺ. And the moment he reached the Prophet ﷺ, revelation has already reached him. So Allah told him. And these ayahs were revealed to expose these three and to, to announce them as hypocrites and disbelievers. They tried to apologize. And one of them came to the Prophet ﷺ and tried to justify it. And he said, Oh, Prophet of Allah, we were just playing around. We were fooling around. And the Prophet would only repeat the verses of the, the verse of the Quran. قُلْ أَبِ اللَّهِ وَآيَاتِهِ وَرَسُولِهِ كُنْتُمْ تَسْتَهْزِئُونَ لَا تَعْتَدِّرُونَ Say, was it then at Allah, His revelations and His messenger that you have been mocking? Make no excuse. You have disbelieved. Now, this ayah and this kind or type of kufr, unfortunately, is widely spread among the Muslims. You may get extremely offensive jokes on WhatsApp, and people just delete it. No harm done. And a lot of harm was done. If you go back and study the hadith, the man did not mention Allah, nor the revelations, nor the messenger. They were making fun of the companions. But due to the fact that making fun of the companions is actually making fun of Allah and the revelations and the Prophet that was made an act of apostasy and kufr. 